Hello guys, this is Code and Code and this is 27th lecture of the number theory series and in this lecture we are going to study extended Euclidean algorithm. So the first question is what is extended Euclidean algorithm? Extended Euclidean algorithm as the name suggests is the extended version of Euclidean algorithm which is used to find or calculate GCD of two numbers A and B, right? And Extended algorithm can be used to find integer solution of the uh, of the equation of the form ax plus by is equals to gcd of a comma b. Now here the numbers a and b are provided integer x and y are unknown variables x and y are also uh, integers. So extended Euclidean algorithm is used to calculate the solution of the equation ax plus by is equals to gcd of a comma b. Now, the sources for this lecture would be cpalgorithm.com and be, uh, brilliant.org. The link of both of the article I'll be providing in the description of this video. Now, first, extended Euclidean algorithm is to find the solution of the equation of the form ax plus by is equals to gcd of a comma b. Now, what is the proof that the solution actually exists? So, the proof can be the proof of uh, extended Euclidean algorithm can be uh, justified by Bezout's lemma. Bezout's lemma says that if they're given two integers a and b and their GCD d, then there exists a solution x comma y such that ax plus by is equals to d. So uh, using Bezout's lemma, we can say that the solution always exists of the equation ax plus by is equals to GCD of a comma b. And if the solution always exists, hence uh, we can find it using Euclidean algorithm. Now the question is how you extended Euclidean algorithm works. We'll be learning uh, the working of the algorithm in two steps. First, solving the equation. Of course, this is the overall goal of us. So solving the equation and finding x, y using pen and paper. Sorry, this is. Uh, uh, this is an pen and paper. So this is one of the most important process. Uh, the reason is um, the extended algorithm working of extended algorithm is is a little difficult. If I am uh, if I explain that working uh, the algorithm itself the program it, uh, programmatically, then you will find it a little bit difficult. And if you go through the process using pen and paper and use pen and paper to uh, take some examples use pen and paper for the solution of those using extended algorithm then after that when you move on to learn the algorithm program uh, programmatically then you'll find it much easier so that is why first of all we'll be solving uh, some we'll be taking some of the example and learning the process of finding the solution using extended algorithm using pen and paper and then after we'll be writing the algorithm to solve the uh, equation of the form ax plus by is equals to d where d is the of course gcd of two numbers a and b so first we'll be taking some uh, example and solve them using pen and paper so that you can uh, you can learn and understand the working process of extended algorithm and after that we'll be learning and writing the algorithm so first so this is the example problem given two integers a and b where a is equals to 57 and b is 81 find the solution x y such that ax plus by is equals to gcd of a comma b right and x y are integer solution we are talking about the integer solution so the first step is to find the gcd of a and b using euclidean algorithm just the normal simple plain euclidean algorithm so take a and b the 57 and 81 and find the euclidean algorithm uh, apply the euclidean algorithm and find their gcd and of course the most important step is to note down all of the steps so if i show you what will be the steps these are the steps first of all 81 you can write it down in uh, as 1 times 57 plus 24 remember all of the number which i am writing in brackets are the divisor so fifth this is the reminder when 81 is divided by 57 so 81 is equals to 1 times 57 plus 24 now 57 will be divided by the remainder of previous step right so 57 is equals to 2 times 24 plus 9 and so on so these are the steps i have noted down them so 
the extended Euclidean algorithm is actually the reverse of Euclidean algorithm. So you would be starting from this equation, the last one, the second last one, where we have the reminder. Each time what we will be doing, we will be writing, uh, the first step is to write down the GCD, the reminder. In the second step, you would see the GCD is actually the reminder, right? GCD is 3 because 3, three was the divisor when the remainder was zero so three is their gcd right in the second last equation you will see uh, gcd was a reminder so we'll take the second last equation and write gcd is equals to whatever was there with the gcd just uh, send it to the other side of the equation so three is equals to nine times uh, nine minus one times six right simple simple enough so what you will be doing taking the second last equation and then writing down, uh, writing down the GCD in terms of the other uh, combination of other variables. So three is equals to nine minus one times six, right? What I want, I have on left hand side GCD. I want on the right hand side A and B so that I have equation of the form AX plus BY is equals to GCD, right? GCD I am already having on one side. On the right hand side, I want A and B, but currently I am having nine and six, and I want 81 and 57 how you can do that by repeatedly replacing the variables and how you do that see here you see uh, uh here you would see six and just before this equation you would see six as the reminder right so what you would do you would replace this six by 24 minus 2 times 9 so this six is replaced by 24 minus 2 times 9 right if you resolve this you'd get 3 is equals to 3 times 9 basically gcd is equals to 3 times 9 minus 24 right now we have equation in terms of 9 and 24 again we do not have the equation in terms of a and b what we want so we would again replace it using the uh, previously we have used this equation now we would use this equation because we are moving from top to bottom reverse process of euclidean algorithm right we would use the remainder of this equation which was 9 and replace this 9 so the current equation is 3 is equal to 3 times 9 minus 24. We will replace 9 from the current equation using this equation, right? Previously, we had used this. Now we will use this and we can see we are having 9 as reminder. So we would use that. So 9 is equal to 57 minus 2 times 24, right? So this 9 would be replaced by that 57 minus 2, 2 times 24. If you resolve this equation, it would be 3 is equal to 3 times 57 minus 7 times 24. Now we see at least 57 here. Now we want 81 as well. We see that 24 from the first equation, we can see 24 is actually the reminder and we can replace this 24 by that. So from this equation, the value of 24 would be 81 minus 1 times 57, right? So just replace 24 from here. So it would be 3 is equal to 3 times 57 minus 7 times 81 mi minus 1 times 57, right? If you resolve this equation, you would get this. 3 is equal to 10 times 57 minus 7 times 81. And now you can say GCD is written in terms of 57 and 81, which we wanted. We wanted GCD, uh, GCD to be written in terms of A and B, and that is what you get here finally. So the solution of this equation is A is equal to 10 and b uh, sorry a is 57 b is 81 so the solution would be x is equals to 10 and y is equals to minus 7 so you can see we have found the solution of the equation ax plus by is equals to gcd of a comma b right so again how you do that as you can see the steps of extended euclidean algorithm is just the reverse process of euclidean algorithm euclidean algorithm went from here to uh, from top to bottom now we started from broad bottom and keep on using the equation and replace the value of the remainder of each equation we used uh, the value of remainder of this equation which was 3 is equals to 9 minus 16 starting from there and then use this 6 to replace this 6 and then use this 9 to replace this 9 then use this 24 to replace this 24 and so on and finally you will be left with a and b the GCD would be the linear combination of A and B and that would give you the solution. As you can see, you have found the solution to be 10 and minus, four, minus 7. X and Y are 10 and minus 7. Now, what I suggest you is to take some example like uh, 20, uh, 24 and 56, something like that and try to, uh, 
try to apply extended Euclidean algorithm and try to find the solution of uh, 24x plus 56y is equals to GCD of there whatever the GCD comes out. Try to take one or two examples, try to apply this extended Euclidean algorithm on uh, using pen and paper and after that in the next lecture I'll be showing you how extended Euclidean algorithm uh, there are two versions of it first is iterative method and recursive method we'll be learning both of them now where uh, what are the application of extended Euclidean algorithm in computer programming first uh, since this is the extended version of uh, Euclidean algorithm, of course, you can use it to calculate GCD. But if your end goal is to only find GCD, I think using simple Euclidean algorithm makes much more sense. Second, finding the modulo inverse. Of course, the extended Euclidean algorithm can be used to find or calculate the uh, modulo inverse of two integers. How? We'll be seeing this in the upcoming lectures. Third, one of the most important uses of extended Euclidean algorithm in competitive programming is uh, finding the solution of LDE, that is linear Diophantine equations. Let me show you one of the example of where what is LDE. LDE is simply the linear equation of the form ax plus by is equals to c. That is LDE. Uh, for example, this problem from hacker rank. Uh, let me just increase the font size 150. Right. So you can see solve equation problem from hacker rank. It uh, the problem gives you a equation of a straight line ax plus by is equals to c, and you have to find the closest point to the origin that satisfies these two equation and so on. So this problem can be solved using linear di uh, Diophantine equation. If you know how you can find the solution of linear Diophantine equation using extended Euclidean algorithm, you can solve that problem. So extended Euclidean algorithm, the most important use is to find the solution of LDE. So before we leave, let's visit our Unacademy. So Unacademy has launched a competitive programming course where you get these perks. First, you get to learn from the experts. Experts are like the guys who are IOI medalists and ICPC finalists and the guys who, are, who have worked with companies like Google and Microsoft and companies companies like that all of the courses are well structured and you get to get live sessions where you can interact with the TAs and if you have any doubt you can ask them and there and there make sure that your doubt is clear and of course uh, there are many you can get the subscription and the subscriptions are of one month six month and 12 month and as you can see if you use my code you get 10% off on 6 or 12 month course or subscription but for one month when you need to try initially it is like uh, 6000 but when you apply the code uh, you get to get the one month subscription only for 999 so if you want to check out whether uh, the subscription of this competitive programming course provided by an academy is worth investing your money or not of course you can always go for the one month subscription so mm -hmm. if you really want to invest your money for competitive programming and you want to learn from experts and you have and you can afford you can go with you can go with first one month subscription and if you like the, the way they are teaching and you are able to understand things of course you can go for the for the uh, six or 12 month subscription so this was all for this lecture thank you guys for watching until the next video drops keep coding thank you